We're in the final part now. I'm going to pace myself as I speak because I've been speaking fast all along because I was trying to run away from a setting sun. But now the sun is completely set, but my iPhone still has enough battery power to run me, to keep me lit, uh, at least for the remaining duration that is left with this video. I'm trying to survive this very hard life. I've got ambivalence against God because I don't know why he would allow me to lose my beauty, my youth, the health of my womb for pregnancy, my marriability, my viability in society, my education, my desires to serve, why he would just let everybody take them away with no visible end in sight to my sorrow, with me constantly getting just cut and cut and cut with no freaking explanation as to why. I spoke yesterday about how I'm anxious and ambivalent against God because I literally don't understand why am I in this position if it's not the rapture that's going to take me out of it. What, what is the point of all this? What could possibly be the reason why you are keeping a woman? I'm not a man. Men can get silver hairs and still be found attractive. Men, their semen never gets old. Literally, they can have babies at 100. Women are the ones whose eggs retire, essentially, like a, like a, a, a senior citizen. We are the ones who age faster and worse than men. We're the ones whose youth is valued above even their virtue, their character, and their integrity. An older woman is essentially just disregarded in society. She's nobody, guys. Her mind, if at all that's what she has, that is the only thing that she has to take to old age to push her along. When she starts to get dementia, it's over. And so unless she is married, young, to a faithful man that will be by her side when nobody thinks she is worth the while to look at anymore, it's over for her. I've got a mind. I'm not going to lose that for a while, but I'm not even allowed to use it. I've got beauty, but I'm 38 and I'm 39 this year. One of these days, it's not going to matter. I'm a woman. I'm a woman. My thing has been God. I'm a woman. I can understand you lingering a man in my position, but I'm a woman. It also puts men to shame, frankly, that have left me in this position, but it doesn't matter anymore. If you can prosper to gloat over the formerly beautiful woman that is not just some middle-aged woman, you, they've taken away everything from me then on that day. I am salivated after by married men. I am looked at as somebody that just needs to settle because you're old now, Garabo. Never had a kid, never had children, I have no baggage. I literally have nothing. And people are expecting me to just keep on living. My family members gaze upon this travesty and they do nothing. Every day, they just walk up and down in front of me. And they are watching a woman's entire life get wasted. And I am expected to, because of the position that I find myself in, perhaps accept myself as a mistress. Accept the status of a mistress or a woman that is going to go and marry a dude with 20,000 kids and five ex-wives. I am being told settle or be a spinster for the rest of your days. I'm like, I don't want to do that. Okay, but can I at least use my brain? And then social media says, no, you got to shut up. Nobody's even going to listen to you. I can't even be a spinster, at least with a career. I'm just some old woman. That's all I am now. And I just have to take that in my stride. That is the amount of heartbreak that dwells in me every single day of my life. And I'm told, suck it up. I don't know what God is doing. If it's not the rapture, then what is it? Especially given I'm a woman. I don't know, guys. I have no clue. All I know is that my future is not looking great, but neither is yours. But because you've been given bread for two days, you think I am in dire straits in the way that you are not. This world is just dirty. It's nasty. I'm sad. Being a black woman, I'm also undermined, unfortunately, by all men, even within my own community. It's like I can't catch a break on all fronts because apparently I'm not worth the while for anybody to basically discomfort themselves to salvage my situation. I'm not worth anybody's while. And I'm like, God, why are you letting that happen? Why are you letting me one of those be, one of those traumatized black women that no one wants, that's crying all the time, complaining, and so therefore fulfilling very typically the angry black woman status? Why are you letting me be that girl when I am historically the life of the show, the social butterfly, the bubbly girl, the easygoing one, the sweet one that's always smiling, laughing, giggling, like that's who I was and largely still am. But now I am being reduced to some Medusa Gorgon of an angry black woman that nobody wants. Like a typicality that is expected to be the general norm of a black woman. And I am now that girl. Can envy get a person to that level of insensitivity? People, can a mother so abandon her own child to a point of ending up nothing and worthless and nobody? Can sisters abandon their own siblings so badly? Can brothers just gaze upon on their own like girl cousin just wither can men with any clear conscience allow such a massive travesty as what i am to just go and brittled on the ground what is happening god why are you letting society reduce me to an angry black woman a typical
physicality that has been something we have been fighting for so long and when you find a doting prissy quaint coy and bubbly giggly black girl you then have to make her an angry black woman that's what's going on with me literally they are converting me into a typical stereotype when i was the butterfly in a garden that should be stroked gently and yet i'm just being left to languish in absolute abject poverty and squalor while i get hammered down with censoring by big people i don't even know are looking at me may the lord answer my questions because right now i'm just freaking confused i'm contentious i'm berated i'm bereft i'm broken i'm sorrowful i'm mournful i'm scorned and i don't have an answer as to why that's the case will i ever recover i don't think so but nothing is impossible for a god that i am anxious ambivalent against right now i don't know why he's leaving me in this position i am disappointed at the squalid hearts of the human race for leaving me in this position at the moral bankruptcy of my society and that at large that is watching me online I am severely disappointed in them, but I am also very confused at a holy God that is just gazing upon this with no action at all. I don't know what is happening, and I will be honest enough to admit that that is true. I am too severely persecuted to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed doting over God on some, but he is God and I know what he's doing tomorrow. I'm going to be okay. I'm sorry, I can't say that. I've been in this for years and every year that comes in, I am this broken, this devastated at the beginning of it. And every time that it closes, it's like it was just yesterday that it was New Year's Day again. Every year just comes and goes like the sun that sets and that rises and sets every day in your life. Literally years come into my space like a rising sun and they set like a setting sun. They, they go out like a setting sun. It happens that quickly. And upon opening up my eyes, a whole decade has progressed. That is what people have done to me. So I don't have the liberty. I'm sorry. I don't have the liberty or the luxury to be like, I know what God is doing. One day this is going to pay off. I am literally in angst right now, even at God, because I know he has got power to get me out of this and yet he's not doing it. I literally cannot understand what is going on. The rapture made absolute sense for, for, for being the redemption event for me, because that would severely handle everybody rightly. But now I don't, I'm not even, I, I, I'm not holding on to that. Because it didn't happen last year. I don't know why God is doing this to me. My biggest desire is to have children. And I just have to keep on watching videos of babies on Facebook and be like, I will never get to have kids. What is happening? All I do is cry and wipe my own tears and use the Bible to explain why tomorrow is going to be okay. Perhaps maybe atheists, these satanic beasts all over the show, they want me to get here so I can abandon faith. But that's just where you make mistakes, all of you Arminians. In believing that a person can lose their salvation. You think that you can, by attrition, cause a person to have so much heartbreak, so much doubt of God, that they would abandon Fort when he has made it clear that he will not lose even one, not even a single soul can be plucked out. And that what work he has begun in, in us, he will finish it. It is precisely because of that heretical doctrine of believing you can lose your salvation that people are actually trying to cause me to lose mine. Whatever, man, I'm done here. I guess we'll speak again tomorrow. I'm signing out on Christ's name, Cran K. Bye.